three cups of flour, all-purpose flour. One tablespoon plus two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Two teaspoons of baking soda. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Whisk your dry ingredients together. And then you're going to com add your sugar, pumpkin, eggs, vegetable oil, and orange juice in the mixing bowl. Another mixing bowl. I'm going to use fresh orange juice. You need one half cup of orange juice. There's three cups of sugar. Put in one whole can of pumpkin. So, one can of pumpkin. Now put in four large eggs. Why are you in my chair? Huh? Oh, you. Oh, good girl. One cup. No, don't run. Half a cup of orange juice. Oh, these are Florida oranges. Oh, so good. Really, really sweet orange juice. Now mix this. Start it out on slow at first, and then turn it up to a couple notches. Medium. Until it's well blended. Oh, that's two inches. I think I'll leave it at that. You also need one cup of raspberries. You can use frozen. Now combine your flour into your pumpkin mixture. Just add like a spoon at a time until it's all mixed together. Scrape down the sides with a spatula. Just mix it a little bit longer and then you're ready to stir in your cranberries. Now fold in those delicious cranberries. Make sure you wash them first because they kind of have dirt on them. Let's we'll use the dried ones. Let's fold those all in and put them in your pan. Nine by five inch loaf pans. Grease and flour them. So let me get those prepared and then just put your batter in. Bake at 350 for 60 to 65 minutes until a wooden toothpick comes out clean. In the center you stick it in. So let me get my pans greased. I do it the easy way. I use this uh, Pillsbury flour stuff. You just spray it on. I think the rest will go in here. I'll scrape it all out with my spatula. Now you put these in the oven and get some of those cranberries. Evenly right. Put them in the oven, 350. Bake for an hour and then check it to see if it's done. 